we just got a huge response from the developers of Roblox Funky Friday themselves. Literally a couple minutes ago as of recording. I'm sure you all know about the Roblox update and the whole audio privacy situation that's been going on and especially with the developers not posting any updates on it, it has worried a lot of us but not anymore. We are going to be going over a couple key announcements regarding about the situation regarding whether or not Funky Freddy is actually going to be safe or not on March 22nd. So make sure you smash that like and subscribe. 10,000 likes. Huge news. Everybody's got to know about the fate of Funky Friday. Let's get right into it. Java Coded, one of the developers of Funky Friday himself posted a major announcement over on his Twitter page regarding about the fate of Funky Friday over the whole audio privacy situation. He literally posted this announcement a couple of minutes ago on his Twitter account. Quick update on the recent audio changes. We have determined that less than 3% of total audios in Funky Friday were affected and we anticipate on having these audios resolved within the next day. We do not expect Funky Friday to experience any interruptions on the 22nd. Thank you. You guys heard that right! Funky Friday's actually going to be saved, boys! Nah, seriously though. This whole Roblox audio update has put a lot of games in jeopardy of songs and sound effects not working due to licensing and ownership issues. This update will presumably hit music based games such as Roblox FNF games and Robeats the worst as they rely on soundtracks to accompany the gameplay. But it is very nice to hear that only 3% of the total songs in Funky Friday are going to be affected by this whole change. With Funky Friday having over 1,000 songs, 3% of them being affected means that only 30 songs may either have to be removed from the system or changed significantly in order to meet the privacy changes. We're still not really sure exactly which songs have been affected and which songs are going to be staying in the game. If I had to guess which songs are going to be removed, it's probably going to be most of the Monster Cat songs or maybe other licensed songs within the game itself. But hey guys, gotta keep in mind, 30 songs out of 1,000 total songs? That's a really good ratio. I'm really glad things worked out for the game. Girls, the chess club has seen an edge on our bait sales. We need more ways of connecting with customers fast. I know some consultants with great ideas. Girls, I said bedtime. are a witness to this land, a place of wonders where culture becomes inspired by nature and nature becomes part of our game. But with the good news being out, we also got a little bit of a slight issue as well to go along with that, especially with many other games still uploading thousands of sound effects and music files in anticipation for the March 22nd change. Song review cues that once used to only take a couple minutes are now taking up to 24 to 48 hours for review. This might actually affect the developers of Funky Friday and also the game's updates in the future because if they're used to uploading the songs and adding in new mods towards the end of their updating schedule, this means that the developers of Funky Friday would have to plan ahead and add mods and songs way before than they're usually used to. So this could probably affect update scheduling in the future, not 100% sure if it is or not. If they do do a good job planning ahead, I don't think it's going to affect the update schedule too much. Kitten Master actually actually had that same question and concern that I had whether or not it will interfere with trying to add new content after the 22nd and Java did reply with no 
so I guess that won't be an issue. We also decided to reach out to Robo, the developer of Friday Night Bloxin, in order to see the status of their game as well. They stated a couple days ago that they had to re-upload over 8 hundred audios in 11 days in order to make sure FNB was still functional for players. They also said that I know that Roblox probably has their hands tied here due to copyright infringement and such, though I believe there could have been a far better way of executing everything, giving developers more time to prepare or by making all newly uploaded audio public instead of private would have been a far better move in my opinion. Their most recent update on the situation is that they've already gone through more than three fourths of the audio that we need to upload in order to keep the game afloat. We should have everything good to go in the next few days and our game shouldn't be impacted at all by the changes that Roblox makes on March 22nd. Even Robeats, another major music game on the platform, managed to have things sorted out as well. They posted on Twitter that, and if you're wondering, we've got almost all of our audios moved over. Waiting on a few remaining ones with issues shouldn't have any major issues with the Roblox audio changes. That's huge regarding about the Roblox update. Now, we haven't heard anything from other Roblox FNF games, such as Monday Morning Misery for example, so hopefully they are doing well and are working things out at the process. Speaking about updates for Funky Friday, we haven't had a big update in the game for over two weeks now, and they actually have made an announcement regarding about updates coming to the game very soon. This was a short announcement, but LEGO stated that, hey guys, just wanted to let you know we're slowly starting to get back into our usual pace for updates. They also threw in a possible leak posted by Tambrush that said that he was going to break the fourth wall. It's four figurines in different colors. Now a lot of people are going to say that this might actually be a leak for the Scott Cathorn mod 